Hey, what's up guys? It's Yuli and Mike. And in this video, we're going to be sharing with you what happened when our Facebook ad account got shut down in Q4. Ooh. Thanks for tuning in guys. Just make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on these videos. Comment on any of our videos because we answer questions there. Uh, we're here to provide as much value as possible, so we will answer your questions. So let me paint the scene for you guys. We're bright, starry-eyed, bushy-tailed, looking at our vision boards, getting ready to rock in the dough on Q4. Black Friday, Christmas, Hanukkah, holiday shopping. It's the time of year where people spend the most money and where e-com people make the most money. We're so excited. We have our plan. We have our products. We have our ad strategies. And then our account gets shut down. And by our account, I don't mean just an ad account. I mean our entire BM that we use to run ads to our main store is completely banned and disabled, not allowed to run any ads on Facebook or Instagram. Just completely off the platform. We're contacting support, we're filling out appeal forms, and literally for two months, nothing gets resolved. So now it's January and we just got our ad account banned. So there isn't necessarily a happy ending to the story <laughs> in the sense of, oh, but it, then it became Black Friday and we got our ad account banned. No, we didn't. But the good news is that we still crushed it in Q4, and we're going to tell you exactly how. Yes. So uh, just like anything you do financially in life, whether it's your personal finances or your business, the main thing you need to do is diversify your risk. And what do we mean by that in terms of our ads? Well, we can't be solely dependent on Facebook, even though Facebook and Instagram are for us, far and away the best advertising platforms, uh, the most powerful algorithms, the best way to reach customers. But we cannot be solely dependent on that because as we saw, it can just go away like that. And that can literally bring your business to a complete halt. You know, we talk a lot about Facebook proofing your business, but I think a lot of people, including us at times, are guilty of thinking, oh, you know, Facebook proved my business. What are the chances that Facebook will actually go down or they'll take me down? Because especially in our case, we've never had one ad disapproved. We've never done anything against policy. We've taken the Facebook blueprint ads course, whatever, that lays mm -hmm. out all of the policy. And so we had no reason to think that we could possibly ever get completely banned. So the reason we were able to survive Q4 and actually make a pretty good profit is because we diversified our traffic way before Q4, way before we got banned from Facebook ads. Um, we always spent a lot of time on our Facebook like page and our Instagram building engagement. So not just running ads, but also uh, organically posting things that our customers and potential customers would like. So we were able to keep that going because they did not ban us from being on Facebook. They just banned us from advertising on Facebook. So we're still able to build through our community like that. Yeah, our community is very engaged and they're people who share things. So keeping that, like nurturing that all of the time really paid off. Plus one for niche stores. Also, in addition to that, we nurture our customers a lot through email via automated flows and also live campaign sales that yeah. we send out all throughout the week, every single week. So we are always keeping our audience engaged that way. And the great thing about an email list is Facebook can shut you down. Instagram can shut you down, but your email list is yours. Once you have an email from a customer, that is like you know, you own it. You can send emails to them as much as you want until they unsubscribe. So that is the beauty of having an email list that you nurture. Because by the way, there's also a big difference between just having emails and having emails that are hot like, yes. and are actually like buyers and warmed up to you. And we were able to get a lot of our repeat customers to buy more things because we treat them well and we don't sell crappy products. Customer lifetime value comes in handy so much. So especially when you're not running paid ads. Another thing that we did that was really, really helpful, which we started um, in late Q3, was that we really got serious with Google ads. 
Now, Google shopping campaigns are actually really simple to use. It did take us a little while to learn how to do it because um, a completely different advertising strategy than Facebook. You're finding people who are searching for products as opposed to people who are just potential customers who are being served ads when they're not actually looking for products. PPC ads are kind of different, but um, really not too hard to learn. And we'll talk more about Google ads in a future video as well. Now, other things that we could have done, didn't do, but could have done at this point was pay for influencer marketing. So we could have started reaching out to people on Instagram to share our products. We could have run Pinterest ads because Pinterest um, you know, runs independently of Facebook, Instagram, and Google. We actually have spent time building up a Pinterest page for uh, our big store that we lost here from Facebook ads. So we did get some good organic traffic that way. Other ways are building an organic um, following on Snapchat, TikTok, and even YouTube, like sending your products to YouTube influencers to unbox. Um, so there are other ways to get money other than Facebook. And we hope that this inspires you to really think about how can you Facebook proof your business? How can you diversify, you know, how you nurture your audience and how you make sales? Because especially right now, Facebook is extremely volatile and nobody is safe from getting your account banned. So of course, Facebook is the best and you absolutely can crush it right, right now there. Um, but just keep in mind that anything can happen at any time. So always be nurturing your customers and thinking about other creative ways to make sales in your business. It might be discouraging at first building something organically because the sales don't roll in. But after over time, you will get more sales from organic traffic. For most of us who are drop shipping, we have really high gross margins, which means that the majority of our spend is on ads more so than products. So when you are not spending money on paying for your traffic, you can get a lot less sales, but make the same amount of profit. So you do have to keep that. So you do have to keep that in mind that maybe less can be more here. Yeah. And at the end of the day, profit is what matters. And also, honestly, I'm glad that this happened to us because in a way it inspired me at least to get that like resourcefulness back to, I mean, we've been building all of these things up, but it forced me to be more creative with our emails, with our social media. Like how can we stand out? Why would somebody buy this product from us versus anybody else, especially when other people have the same product? So Honestly, like never take anything for granted and always be creative. Like seriously, always work as if everything can be gone tomorrow because it literally can be. And that definitely like reignited that hustle, hustle, hustle feeling in me. And as far as it goes with uh, diversifying your traffic, um, you have to find the one that's right for your audience. So Snapchat, for example, has a much younger audience, whereas Pinterest has people that are more middle-aged and predominantly women. Um, Google's everybody. So you just have to kind of realize where your audience is and try and find the right marketing platform to fit your target audience. And we'd love to hear from you guys. Post down below which one of these alternative methods of getting customers do you do or will you try now that you know nobody is safe? Have you gotten an ad account banned? Let us know. Tell us your story. We want to hear them. Okay, guys, stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like our content. And, and you'd like to see more of it. Bye. <laughs>